Hey everybody, welcome to Evercadia. I am Pete and I just installed the latest update for the Evercadia XP. It's available for the Evercade DS also. And this is a big update because we are getting our first game in a month for 2023. Yes, the Indie Hero 3 collection is coming out and it was announced that the game in the month is a pretty interesting and native port for the Evercade. So while this is updating, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash that like button, because the, the what we're about to see is the reason why the Evercade is one of the most amazing devices out there for retro gaming. So hit that subscribe, smash that like button, let's get into the dodo. So the game we're about to play in the Evercade game of the month is Donut Dodo. And this game is by Pixel Games, and it is one of those games that came out on the VCS and a bunch, Atari VCS by the way, the new V version of the VCS and a bunch of other consoles. Now again, it is a game that arcans back to classic arcade games. So it's Donut Dodo. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a Dodo, an extinct bird who loves donuts. Who doesn't love donuts, right? And Sebastian had talked about how he approached Evercade from the original console and wanted to put the game on the Evercade OG. But at the time, they were just focused on emulation and not native ports. Well, he recircled back after this game came out. And guess what? This is going to be a native port on the Evercade. I'm super excited. He sounds like such a genuine dude, the Sebastian guy. And the fact that, you know, the, the, the great people over at Blaze was able to make this happen. It's awesome. Now, I played this game on the VCS. I am not very good on it. So let's get into it. Simple. Go into the EXP menu. Uh, go down to uh, Game of the Month. Click on it. And Donut Dodo is there as a platformer. It's available for one month until the next game. And of course, you can buy this and get it forever, the physical version, in January of next year. Um, yeah, it's let's get into it. So this is all the information you need to read about it here. But we're here for the games, right? This is the control A jump, B jump, start, pause. It is, like I said, it arcans back to the beauty days of arcade gaming. So I am super excited to play this game. Uh, hopefully, you're having a great day, but... Um, yeah, I, I played a bit of it on the VCS because it was available there, but I gotta be uh, honest with you, um, I, I've been waiting, <laughs> oh cool, easy, medium, two rounds, medium, hard, sugar rush, okay, let's do this one first, it is not a, I didn't find an easy game on the VCS, but maybe you will, man, the graphics look awesome, so, collect your donuts, man, I love donuts, I shouldn't, Oh, crap. I gotta go up the ladder. I forgot. See? I'm not very good at this game. Man, it looks great, though. Gotta watch out for the flames. Yeah, as you can see, the game is, is pretty... Oh, my God. The D-pad on this makes it so awesome. Oh, my God. I almost got them all. Man, the D-pad is so cool on this. I love that it doesn't reset. Okay, I gotta go over here. Get this last donut. Oh, crap. How am I gonna get over here? Yeah, up this way. Cut lost there. Reminds me a bit of burger time. Okay, I gotta get up here. Don't come back. Oh, don't come back. Please, don't come back. Oh, he got me. Oh, I was hoping he was gonna go back that way. As you can see, this game is so much fun. And the fact that it's got three difficulty levels, it's going to be a, I, I can imagine it's going to be a lot of people having, oh, the ladders are much easier to use than burger time, I can tell you that. And I mean, of course, this is a modern game. Oh my god, I forgot this guy down here. Not by yet. See, once I get the hang of it, oh my god, I got, oh, I jumped over, thank god. Gotta go down here. Oh my god, did I miss this guy? Okay, get up here now. He's gonna fart out the thing. There you go. Level complete. See, I'm not that bad at it. That's awesome. You know, it's, it's easier to play this game when you're not having to talk and that stuff. But this is why the Evercade. This is what I want to talk about. The Evercade is an amazing retro system because this reminds me a little bit of Popeye too. Just a little bit. Um... But this is why the Evercade's just an amazing system. We're starting to see the, oh crap. We're starting to see the power of what this can offer. I think this is where 
the power of the system is really going to be awesome is native ports and having physical versions of native ports. I gotta get over here somehow. I'm gonna make a jump on this guy. Jump is pretty good. Oh crap, I jumped right into that. But is the native ports that's gonna be coming to the system is gonna really, oh my God, what a spawn. <laughs> what a spawn I got there, it was awful. But again, the native ports of what's gonna come to the system is really gonna be a system seller. And they need to really advertise that big time. Screen flash on, so you can turn that off if you want. Screen shake off, uh, back, and then I think it's, oh, so you can go into Sugar Rush, best medium hard mode to unlock. Oh, I have to unlock them first, okay. But like, imagine the potential now seeing a lot of the new retro indie games coming out where, you know, game, game publishers are constantly putting beautiful games out now they get an option to put them on another place to make money and, and, ex and get their games exposed to the world of retro gamers on the Evercade because you know there's a sizable audience now that play on the Evercade and talk about the Evercade oh my god I can't jump over that guy is that a toilet that's coming to get me it is but yeah this is Donut Dodo uh this game is just a fun game to play and I got hit by the toilet anyway but yes that's the big thing it's just the power of what these what we're starting to see now in the ecosystem is these pretty cool games coming out right oh my god the toilet got me again I wish I could jump higher need a double jump but yeah it's, it's just the power of the system moving forward and getting more collections out there and more native games coming on it i would love to one day see a native collection come a hundred percent for this console anyway let me know what you think in the comments below i really appreciate you checking this out this video out and hanging out with me for a few minutes this morning checking out the game of the month again it's only going to be available for a month and it'll be replaced next month with a new game in a month. And gosh, I fingers, fingers are crossed that it's going, okay, now they're crossed. Fingers is crossed that it's going to be another native indie game. I really hope that's what we get. And uh, I hope moving forward, that's, that's all we get on the Indie Heroes. Native ports would be amazing. And just to have, I, I'm not really trying right now. Um, just to have those native ports uh, available is going to be cool. Oh man, see, it's so addictive, and it's, you know, it's here for free for you to try, like, you can get at least a month of it, see if you like it, and test drive the Hindi Heroes 3 collections that are coming out. Anyway, once again, I am Pete, thank you so much for hanging out with me, I, again, I'm repeating myself a little bit now, but you have an awesome day, let me know in the comments what you think of this game, how far have you gotten this game, what's your high scores, all the jazz, and let me know which indie games out there that you know of that you think will be a perfect match as a native port for the arcade. Bye everyone.